Mandate 2024. Claim versus reality with Srinivas on Jain. और मुझे बहुत गर्व है कि आज मुझे ये सौभाग्य प्राप्त हुआ है कि मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी में जुड़कर और माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में मैं मिलजुल करके देश के प्रति मैं अपने अपना योगदान मैं दे सकूं। So uh, we are here with Naveen Jindal. He's a very senior leader. Has been in the Congress. Is now with the BJP. He is an industrialist as well. He is the BJP's candidate from Kurukshetra in Haryana. Thanks very much indeed, Naveen Jindal, for talking to us. You've been a lifelong congressman. Your family's been in the Congress. This must feel somewhat strange, right, to be in the BJP? Uh, not really, because uh, I've always... Uh, we've had good relations uh, with the BJP people in Haryana. And uh, in 1996, my father contested from Haryana Vikas Party. Right. And Haryana Vikas Party used to have an alliance with the BJP. Hmm. So we are very familiar with everybody. And then when so I. So there's no big there's no, culture there's no shock big, or there's no, no big no, joke no, in terms of. No, there's no culture shock. There's no, there's no basic big difference. And see, it's a cultural thing. Change of party is a cultural thing. In some countries, it's a very big thing. It's like changing your religion. It doesn't happen. Okay? But in India, it's a, it's a you know, people from the same, we're same. You feel that there's actually. A lot of fluidity. Some would disagree right. and say that there's actually strong ideological differences. But let me ask you, actually, why you felt? Why you felt? I know you gave some responses at the time when you crossed over. Yeah. But it was all very sudden because you crossed and then straight see, away you got because, a ticket. Sudden because the action is sudden. But huh. see, something is simmering for a long time. Okay, I did not feel that the way I was treated, I was treated right mm. in the, in the Congress. Okay, and I do not believe in many things that they do. Like every time, everything, they're only opposing. Anything good also the government does, they're only opposing. Mm. I don't think they have ever, ever appreciated. So it's not like the government has done everything is wrong. So when so you, when you start you... criticizing everything, right. then you lose credibility. So what would you then say was the trigger to join the BJP? Because even if you don't like the Congress, one would assume that the BJP is ideologically poles apart, right? Because you see, it's like, BJP uh, is a party of Hindutva. I know. So it's what, a party of Ram Mandir. It's a party of those sorts of issues. Now, those so, are not Congress issues. No, they may not be Congress issues. Okay, but what triggered me was a statement by the Congress hmm. that our company has given 25 crores to the BJP in electoral bonds. Okay. And then after that, three days later, we got a cold block. Hmm. Now the two things have nothing to do. Firstly, we never gave 25 crores to the to the BJP. Right. In fact, we had given 20 crores to the Congress. Only three crores to BJP. So my role as a somebody in public life is different hmm. than the company. Okay. So say they making all these false so you're saying that provoked you. Yeah, that provoked me. I wrote to them. I wrote to the person who made this statement, who made this irresponsible and incorrect statement. They did not apologize or anything. I, so that was enough of a trigger. And then I want to serve mm. under the dynamic leadership of Mr. Modi. You know, he has shown us the, whatever they have said, they have done that. And then whatever, you know, he has shown us a vision of a developed country, that India to be a developed country. I just don't want to sit outside. I want to be. I want to. Participate. You want to be part of that. But yeah, what I do you? Want to be part what, of that. Okay, but what do you make of what the opposition, your former colleagues, said that the real reason why you crossed was this business of quote unquote washing machine okay, because so, of these charges in the so post camp okay, so that me, you have against you. So let me tell you that it's been now more than ten years that these uh, this case has been going on. Okay, since this case is in the court. Hmm. Okay, uh, so I I do not want to talk anything about this case. No, no not so about the case, but the, but the reason for your shifting no, this is, this is no, this was is no because reason. of that. So I could have done it much earlier. Why, why would I wait 10 years? It's been 10 years and 10 years I was with the Congress. Mm. If the government could have whatever they could have done against me, they did it. So they could not because there is a judiciary. And then I have no, actually I've had no role to play in it. So it's just a case case anything anything can be filed against you also but it, it is a case be. though it is a case it's a case it's, it's a, a cbi case. case it's an ed case it doesn't matter so what so many so cases this... that the cbi files or ed hmm. files the court ultimately throws them out 
No, but the, the argument here is that once you come into the BJP, yeah. you get some kind of immunity. No. These cases automatically go slow but so do you, I mean, or the investigating agencies okay, so withdraw now, the case. So now the case is not under investigating agencies. The case is with the court. The court is sitting over it. Hmm. Okay, so it is going through the judicial process. Right. So now the agencies of the government can't do nothing about it. No, but surely, Mr. Jindal, the fact that the BJP, from saying that corruption is a big problem in this country, Congress is the fountainhead of corruption, saying that the coal scam was a huge scandal in this country, the Prime Minister himself says it. Okay, this is the something then, they said uh, 10 years back. Ha, huh, but then they allow and the that entry of a leader like you. Isn't there then some grounds for people to question such sure, actions and say, sure, isn't this sure people deeply can, hypocritical? Sure, people can question each thing, each and everything. People can question whatever they want to question. Mm. But the thing is, the two things are absolutely uh, separate. Okay, just because separate. Some, yeah, just huh. because some case has been filed, I'm sure there may be cases against you. Somebody may have filed cases against you. You know, somebody may have filed... No, I'm talking uh, about the BJP defamation. itself making it as an issue. Okay, so they made it an issue. Maybe then they, they know better now. And that, that case hmm. is just going on. It's going on for more than 10 years. Okay. And uh, so again, you are you are provoking me to say something about a case which is uh, under judicial no, no, process. No, no, so I'm I not provo not, no, 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 I'm not no, provoking so not, you to say anything about the yeah. case. I'm asking you a purely political question because the fact is that apart from the fact that it's an opposition allegation, if you look at the, the facts themselves, we've seen a stream of leaders. Let me finish the question and I'm sure you can respond. So see, we've seen a stream of leaders who all have charges against them, whether it's you, it's Chagan Bujbal, it's Ashok Chavan, it's... Praful Patel, Ajit Pawar, all these people were targeted by the BJP for saying these are corrupt leaders, these are corrupt parties. They enter the BJP and automatically the cases go on a back burner. No, so you are saying you this so, is this is you are saying that the cases go on a back burner. Okay. No, no, I'm not saying there's no, evidence no. to so uh, evidence establish I, this. I, I do not and I cannot speak speak about others. Okay. What are the merits of each and every case? Uh, those people can answer that. I can tell you about my case. I told you about this. Firstly, uh, to me, there is there is nothing wrong that I have done or we have done. And this case has been going on for 10 years. Sure. So if the case is going on for 10 years, and I feel in these last 10 years, mm. or the last 20 years of a company, right. our company has paid more than 60,000 crores in taxes. We have invested more than... More than one lakh crores of investments we have made. No, 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 no listen to me. No, listen to me. I'm making a no, wider no, point though. No, 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 you yeah. listen to me. Okay. And then more than one lakh people are directly employed in the company. Yes. So I would say I'm I'm doing the best for the country. Now, what is this case? This is some, you know, little case which is completely irrelevant. So just because somebody, some of these agencies, mm. that somebody files a case, saying, shall I stop living my life? Shall I stop working? No, no. Shall, See, I stop, I did, shall I stop serving the people? That's not my so question. So the thing though. is, if I there that's are, not my question. My so question this, is this. So I my life, no, no. Listen, yes. listen to me. So in my life, there are hundreds of things. Okay, out of those hundred things, one little thing is this case. So I'm not going to stop living my no, no, life I'm, just I'm because not... you or there are people like you who want to ask me these questions. No, no, no. Okay, I'm, not I want on, to... I'm not on so, whether you should live your life yeah, or yeah, not. So You're that, free that, to live your that, life. That, that's all I'm doing. I'm saying something else. I'm saying we're in a situation in this country yeah. where if you look at what's happened to the opposition or what's happened with the agencies in the past 10 years, an extraordinary number of opposition leaders, let me just finish, have found themselves targeted in a way that is unprecedented. Right? The data uh, supports this, that... Of the total number of politicians who face ED, CBI cases, 90% are from the opposition. Which the opposition says is a huge problem for democracy, that you're jailing and arresting leaders and creating an unlevel playing field on one hand, while on the other, if you join the BJP, then okay, so if, weapons down. So, so that's, what you're, if, I'm, if, I'm making that wider point. Okay, so if what you are saying is correct, if it is correct, then it is wrong. But what about... You if these don't people... think it's correct? No, I mean... no. What about if these people... If actually, is that somebody does something wrong mm. just because they are an opposition leader, should the agencies not target them? Should the agencies not take any action against them? Of course they should. But then it should so be even-handed even -handed on both sides. Yeah, sure. But there's no so, action so against why, anyone in the BJP. So why aren't you speaking about uh, some uh, something wrong that somebody in the BJP has done? Why aren't you talking about it? Who's stopping you? Are you under some agency? 
No, why no. Don't, why don't Are you talking about the media? Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking so about I'm media. So I'm saying the I'm media. No, no. So the media. No, I'm talking about you, Srinivasan Jain. So Srinivasan Jain. Sri so you, you're asking Srinivasan Jain. Yeah. Srinivasan Jain, like many other journalists, has highlighted countless instances so where there are question marks about the BJP or BJP's financial dealings or whatever. Nothing happens. So somebody, There's no action. Okay, so you can talk more about it then. <laughs> so you, why don't you go to the court? You do something about it. If you feel, so, no, if I'm I just a journalist. No, no, you're. I'm not, just a journalist. Okay. But anyway, you're saying that you don't see this as a, as a major issue. But you're saying your choice was nothing to do with this. You switched because of the yeah. prime minister. And it's, the, and no, the, no, it's, and there are see there are a whole lot and of the other vision factors. he has for the country. Okay, firstly, have you heard this? The people don't leave companies; mm. they leave their bosses. Mm. You heard this? Okay, you would have experienced this also. That if somebody you if you were in NDTV. Yes. Okay, if somebody leaves NDTV, mm. they don't necessarily leave NDTV, but they would leave their bosses. Okay. Okay, so there are people in the Congress. Who I did not like, I I mentioned you one of the incidents. Mm. I do not like this kind of a thing that you make just false accusations against uh, somebody. Okay, so these are the things. So no party. Okay, pa so let's... party could be all right, but there are individuals who don't play their role right, and uh, and then. Okay, so you've come here, to the BJP. Yeah, you've okay. come to the BJP for for whatever reasons, but you don't have a problem with the BJP's ideology in terms of center staging Hindutva, given that we are supposed to be. A secular country guided by a secular uh, constitution. So I think it's I think it's absolutely secular. In a village, also four people can get together and make a temple. Mm. So what's wrong if suppose there was a Ram temple in Ayodhya, yes. which was broken, and then if we want to rebuild a temple, it's I I feel it's the right thing to do. But for I, a I'm political very happy. party, no, no, as an individual. But okay, as, as a talking, government, I'm talking you to have you. taken the oath of the constitution. Yeah, so the government where you not can't take sides with okay, any religion. Okay, so, so government has not taken any sides. It is not the government. It is after the Supreme Court judgment hmm. that this temple has been built. And there's nothing to do with the government. But Even something that minister, has happened. Let me just know the Prime Minister inaugurated the temple. He okay. literally performed the, uh, the puja. He is the so head what? of the government. So what? So you he, can't say so the government has nothing to do with it. The no, government no, has everything no. to do with it. No, government after it got all the approval, uh -huh. okay, after it got the approval from the Supreme Court, and then they build the temple. If the temple authorities, yes, if they want the prime minister to come hmm. and do the ceremonies or take part in the ceremonies, what's wrong with that? Because he's the prime minister, so he what? has to. He has to so now look, be I, above. Srinivasan, I can't be speaking divides. about the about the prime minister. I've given you my views. Hmm. There's no point arguing with me on this. No, no, no. I was asking. No, so I was you, asking you whether you're comfortable with I'm, it. I'm absolutely comfortable. I'm you don't very have a problem with it. I'm very happy, and I felt very proud. I was there on that day. I was there on 22nd of January. Hmm. I was there witnessing it, and I was very. I felt very happy and very proud as an Indian that this temple has been built. And I thought not only me, the whole country and Indians all over the world, they felt very proud. But what about the demolition of the mosque? Which... And what about the demolition of the temple before that? But Naviji, we're talking of something that happened 500 years so, ago. Is, so does it mean that somebody does something wrong? Yes. You don't correct it? No, but you correct it through the use of mob. Like that was a... No, 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 a, not the, mob. The, the demolition no, the of the mosque been... was a look, criminal act. Okay, look. So if the criminal act was there, hmm. that criminal act has been dealt by by the courts. Yes or no? Yes or no? I mean, okay. So then say, so, Abhi, why don't you? When I am honestly agreeing with you, you no, you only want to just keep on talking about your no, point no, of I'm view. No, no, I am saying even no, if so it is dealt also, with the courts, so it is still a criminal act. If those people, if this those people, somebody created a uh, committed a crime that was dealt by the courts, finished. Hmm. And now whatever the temple has been built. It has been built after they got the judgment in their favor from the Supreme Court. Yes. So then, what's the what's the point? Because of the fact that it's so had a very trouble. Do you believe in the judiciary or not? Sorry. Do you believe in the judiciary or not? No, no, of course I believe. So, in the so then, if you believe in the judiciary, that matter is over. No, the judiciary said the court said while granting the rights of the land to the Hindus, it said that the demolition of the mosque was an egregious violation of law. Okay. It was part of the order. Okay. So, see so whatever. So all I'm the not, more I'm reason. Not, I'm not disputing whatever the Supreme Court said. Right. So whatever Supreme Court said, we have to agree to it. Okay. If you don't agree to it, you go and appeal against that. Okay. So you're saying that that's not an issue for you. No. About the economy, though, you're saying that under the prime minister, the leadership, the economy's done very well. Um, but would you say it's done better than the UPA because the data actually tells you something else that the average rate of growth under decade of Modi, Modi government, 
has been lower than under okay so depends your so, former party so, so shrinivasan you are a smart guy okay so if the base is here hmm. to come up to here is easier if the base is very low hmm. to rise up to have a higher rate is low but when you already here hmm. then to go higher it's difficult okay why does america have only uh, one or two percent gdp growth rate why does japan have such a low growth rate because they are already developed countries hmm. so the the further we go ahead because we already have reached a high threshold level right so now to go up it's already a very large economy but to go from uh, 11 number 11th economy in the world hmm. now we are the fifth largest economy you know you only again you also only want to see negative you only posing only negative questions to me aren't you aren't <laughs> you no so you are you I'm are posing unfair factual questions i'm no, posing factual are, questions no i know but these are all loaded questions you are asking you are all unfair questions no, no, you are I'm asking no no i'm saying the bjp is not using the no, no, low base can, no 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 once again ask me this question and, and i can i can Nabiji, answer you also i'm saying that the bjp but is see, not using reflects. the low base uh, growth effect they are saying that we actually did better they did under modi compared to uh, Manmohan Singh, but I am saying Modi era GDP average growth rate was five point seven percent, UPA was six point eight percent. It was a percentage so, point know, higher. So you know, percent I know, just a percentage point higher. But then on a better. low on a on a low uh, starting the threshold level, mm. and on a higher threshold level, and obviously on a higher threshold level to achieve higher growth rates is much much more difficult. Okay, but I am not just looking at that. If you look at so many other metrics, look at unemployment, which I am sure. you know because you've been an mp you've been in politics you're aware that unemployment in this country is okay, a which huge is, is problem no, which country there is uh, which country there is no unemployment is there a country where there is no un- unemployment no no but the fact is that the numbers suggest that unemployment has gotten worse you would have seen the latest ilo report which says that 80% of those unemployed are young people of which 65% are educated unemployed this is an increase from earlier So actually, it's okay. So could be. So I am. I am. Uh, uh, I am no expert. Is, okay. So I am no expert. Like, see, if you want to throw every question at me, okay, an expert. No, no. This has to so do no, with so the economy, are, and no, you're a business person. So, so no, this is a this okay, is a strange no area for you. No, I am no economist. Okay. Okay. I am in. Uh, okay. I am an industrialist, and in my industry, okay, we are the leaders, hmm. right? So we we have uh, we have done exceedingly well. Today, India is the second largest producer of steel in the world. okay and our group is the largest producer of steel in india so we have done a lot of work a lot of positive work ourselves we are the ones who create wealth for the country okay but so, that is across governments that is across government yeah you're right so, that is across governments so, so, so that's not necessarily so i'm not so why should i if it is across governments i don't uh, give the credit of everything to the governments in india people are very enterprising okay if people people are given a conducive environment people mm. themselves mm. are very very enterprising very entrepreneurial okay so in that sense you're saying that your company your businesses are doing extremely well which is yeah. a sign that the uh, overall economy is doing well correct but it's not thanks to any any, any governments it's not thanks no, to any yeah, government so governments i mean yeah that's true okay but then i'm still a little unclear what is to you then the big uh, improvement or shift that has happened under this government or so, under the prime minister okay, which is i'll tell you attracted the, you so much the no no first of all attracted me so much i mean no, that no, led you to join no is the nothing uh, i'm not talking that anything the business hmm. has attracted me to join the government they are two different things you are mixing up the two okay my role as an industrialist i was telling you that and i have already explained to you as that as my life as a politician mm. the what all things inspired me to join the bjp okay right. now talking as an industrialist mm. the government's initiative of make in india right. has been a huge success okay government uh, you know to the pli the production linked incentive mm. and mm. to to uh, to uh, promote more and more manufacturing in india yes to give various incentives to the industries that we have to uh, the government also that they will buy from india right. that has usually helped the indian industry maybe again you will accuse me of throwing statistics at you but manufacturing is slowing down manufacturing is stagnating the numbers show it okay so could be also because so then how is make in india been a huge success no but uh, again see different industries like i i said india earlier was not the second largest producer of steel in the world sure today we are the second largest producer of steel in the world and many other areas no also but see i am not i can tell you about steel 
Right. Okay, I also happen to be the president of Indian Steel Association. Right. Right. I can tell you about steel. I can't tell you about every other industry. No, no. I'm sure steel yeah. is is you would have all the facts on that, and that's doing very well. But overall, do you feel that because we're now halfway through the campaign, and it started off with the government, the prime minister, much more talking about development, Vishwaguru, etc. But today, if you see the kind of comments that are coming out. Do you feel comfortable with that? The Prime Minister is calling Muslims infiltrators. He's saying they produce too many babies. Okay, so uh, at different times, in different, see, if you put something out of context, first of all, I'm not familiar with everything that the Prime Minister has said. But you have been know, aware of no, this no, comment. No, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm, no I'm, not, I'm not aware of this. I'm busy with my own campaign here. Okay. And in what context somebody has said something? One has to, one can't. Put something out of the context and you ask me a question. He said this. it in the context of the Congress manifesto, where he said that the Congress manifesto is pledging or is promising to take resources and wealth of Mangal Sutra and silver of women and tribals and give it to Muslims, a community which are infiltrators and which produce too many babies. Okay. I mean, is that something you're okay with or are you troubled by that? So, see, uh, Congress government talking about inheritance tax. Right? Inheritance tax So, that is, is uh, probably he's spoken the, in the terms inheritance tax is something that suppose, uh, don't think of just, suppose uh, you own a house, maybe which is worth a crore of rupees mm. and after you die, rather than going to your family, your family has to sell that house to give 50 lakh rupees to the Good, government so that's or a farmer or a farmer yeah. who has uh, two acres of land sure. and he's thinking I have two sons, I want to give one one acre each to my one so, to my so son and one all... to my daughter, one second yeah, yeah. and then he has to uh, give one acre away to the government yeah. and then uh, just so nothing is left. So in, the in Congress what... manifesto actually never mentioned uh, Maybe manifesto. inheritance tax at all. Yeah, so manifesto, no, but their leaders have been speaking about inheritance tax. Only Sam Petroda, who's actually so, not I mean, a very so active are, member so you are, of the Congress. You are, you are justifying everything no, no, that the Congress asking, or the leaders have said. No, no, I was asking so again, actually no, so, on the... So, 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 uh, no, no, has, I was asking the, the comment on the manifesto, minorities. No, does the BJP manifesto talk about, uh, makes any comment? So when you are not, you are talking only no, no. about what Prime Minister said. You are talking about manifesto of Congress. Why don't you speak about manifesto of the BJP? No, because the Prime Minister, and I am coming back to okay. it, I am not so much on what so he said on the inheritance tax. So see, I don't know, start talking about whatever I'm saying what he said Congress about minorities. Saying. That's the point. Okay, so whatever, uh, whether it's, uh, see, minorities also are a very much part of the country. Okay? Okay. Whether it's minority or majority. Our Prime Minister, if he has something, if he felt something about the majority also, there are lots of things. Hmm. If suppose he's talking about. Uh, you know, cleanliness or Swachh Bharat or some. He's talking about majority. Hmm. He's talking talking about many things. He's talking majority, but you don't want to. Uh, you won't, don't want to talk about that. If has made some comment about the minority, hmm. you're talking only about that because you want to highlight that. Right. So see, you have you have a certain bent of mind. Which you want to promote? No, no, the which Prime Minister. To... No, no, if no, the Prime no. Minister has yeah. made these campaign issues, <laughs> okay. then who are so you and he, I to not bring okay, those so up? Those uh, would come up. All right, if he's uh, brought something that you should ask, ask him this. You should question him. I have told you whatever I could have already. We don't, told you. we don't get the the benefit of uh, sitting opposite the Prime Minister, okay. but also because you are so if you, uh, if you're in the BJP. The, so if you're, it's a fair the if you're getting the benefit of sitting across me, you should not abuse that. <laughs> okay, okay, I don't okay. mean to abuse it, but you, you're trying to. Because you are asking me unnecessarily uh, questions, which uh, which I have no control over, okay? Which I have given you my uh, my viewpoint, but you are further asking me. You are trying to no, rub because I am saying when you no, you, are, you know this is unfair. I am telling you, right? It's like uh, I trust. I I can face anything. So whatever this election I am contesting, this is my election. You have come to speak to me. Speak to me about the issues. Okay, I'm so in your about. election, if you start speaking to me about India, you start speaking about uh, you know the Russia Ukraine war. You know what, what's going to happen in May. So no, 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 I didn't so, ask so, you about every, so, so everything is, these things are also, what somebody says is not, uh, they are not asking me and okay, saying something. So what is... So whoever is asking, please direct your questions to those people and show this, you know, because you, if you edit these things and, you know, just show what you want to show that... No, 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 we're not going to edit this. Yeah, this yeah, is all okay. going to go in, in its entirety. Right, sure, so, so, so then in conclusion then, what are the issues for you here? Because in a Lok Sabha election, national issues also get... Okay. Uh, impacted by Why don't you issues? ask the people here if huh. they what are they going to vote on? So that that thing you ask the people from my point of view, yeah. people just don't vote on issues. Okay? Okay. People are voting for a person. Right. People are voting for a party okay. that they trust. Right. That they have faith in. 
okay like i said we have a relation over here of three decades right people know my family i know their families we have a family relations people trust me that these people are not here to make money mm. okay there are all all types of people who come into politics for all types of things okay so and you're saying people them, are voting one here the issue one will be the jindal legacy and yeah, the name yeah not not just legacy navin jindal i have worked with them for 10 years okay they have seen me work and they have also seen how their prime minister narendra modi has worked in the last 10 years okay and so people are people work? are very happy okay. people are very happy with the way narendra modi ji has worked okay. people are very happy with the fact that he had uh, you know that uh, the ram mandir has actually is is a reality now okay. that actually the article 370 hmm. is is no more and kashmir is like the same rules same laws apply in uh, in jammu and kashmir also okay and then there are there are hundreds of other things right. that uh, the government has done for the farmers for the workers for the ladies for for women right. for the youth for which people are very happy and they know that when navin jindal comes here whatever is lacking the navin jindal is going to try to do his best okay. to make things better okay so okay. those <laughs> you're saying are the issues here yes a mix of national and a mix of local issues local issues you. and the state issues also and the state issues. and the state government also has been working here so okay. people just don't on these large national issues or what somebody said or didn't say they don't vote on those okay they also go for a for a person and then they feel right. that okay this person is trustworthy is approachable right. and he is going to be uh, with us through thick and thin okay. and that's what they vote on all right well thank you okay. so much indeed thank for you. taking time and taking <laughs> all you. our questions See you. <laughs> thank you very much indeed this election season your right to choose puts you at the heart of it again we'd like to be your eyes and ears choose the journalism and media that serves democracy and you Simply log on to newslaundry.com/2024-election-fund and choose an amount of your choice for the reports of your choice.